Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a very exciting week or kind of month for Mega Constructs and my channel. You're going to be seeing some really insane news coming out over the next couple of days and I really can't wait to share more with you on that. And also behind me I've got my largest flood diorama ever which I finished on a live stream. Thank you to everyone that showed up. That was a really great time. It's New Mombasa, the only bridge diorama invaded by the flood. Flood firefight. It's very exciting. I got one piece of information that I really wanted to get in front of a camera and share with you today, and that's new set images for the Banished Phantom. In all its divine glory, man, we, it's crazy that Mega has been going for about 13 years and we've still only ever had one Phantom. And that Phantom really is one of the highest uh, resale values of all sets. Aside, of course, from signature builds and really rare Halo heroes, the Covenant Phantom always fetches a good price. Now the Banished Phantom's coming out, I've got a lot of really great things to say about this set. A few that I, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, I, I try to explain this when the images first came out. I think the uh, set itself looks a little boxy, but at the same time, it's just Mega doing a good representation of the Banished Phantom in game, which does look a bit boxy. The figures, however, are phenomenal with this set. I would have liked a few more printed decals on the Phantom as well, but we get the brand new Ravager, muzzle flares, a lot of really good stuff. And we've got this brand new beautiful box art that we've seen a few times over and it's here again. I've made a few different videos on this channel talking about the brand new box art so far in my Ghost of Requiem box art review, my Scorpion Clash, the Red Team Charge, that's it, and now the Banished Phantom. We've got this brand new purple color scheme, very simplified, uh, not so much the nitty gritty realistic war kind of box art. This is more tightly rendered, more simplified, and honestly, I really like it. The more I see these box arts, the more I do actually fall in love with them. Mega, yes, have scrapped the super realistic box art and replaced it with greys, purples, and the main set image. It just makes the thing pop out more. And I'm hoping I'll be able to sit down with Mega themselves soon and actually discuss their choices on this new box art because I know a lot of people are questioning it. It's a big change and like really any big changes in life, particularly with collectibles, they seem to affect people in different ways. I was, you know, a little taken back when I first saw the new design, but it grew on me very quickly. And when you think about what Mega is trying to do here, Mega is trying to sell toys. Most people don't keep their figures and sets in their original packaging. Most people throw away the packaging. So really all we want from a company is the design choices that will sell the most product so we get more product and uh, it's a natural cycle like that. And I think the popping out colors and a simple image, you know exactly what you're getting on this box art. And I think that's gonna serve mega well in the future. Certainly when you have like a Wolverine on a desert background, from afar, it's probably quite hard to tell what it even is. So I. I respect it. I get it. I personally really like the profiles on the top of these packagings where it shows all the characters. In some of the sets, we've had actual names of the characters on the front. I like that more. I wish that was on the Banished Phantom. Uh, there is a bit too much negative space on this, but you can see silhouettes of mountains in the background. You can see some little kind of forerunner design going on with the gray and the Banished Phantom. 1,200 pieces. That's a pretty decent count. Yeah, it's actually really good. And uh, of course, we get way more looks at Jager Redomni. He, he looks phenomenal, as well as Spartan Thorn. It's going to be a really good set, honestly. I'm not concerned at all for this release, and the two-in-one, uh, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter particularly, really like it. Like, it's a gorgeous, like, banished Reaver-esque thing. Like, it looks phenomenal. I would really like to buy the two-in-one. I would really like to buy two of this and make the two-in-one as well. The alt build is really creative. Mega clearly are getting better and better with their alt builds, and I'm all here for it. We get a few more in-depth pictures, particularly the one I want to show is uh, the banished phantom folding outwards. Uh, the way the cockpit comes uh, in front of the build is actually really nice. Uh, it took me by surprise that I didn't think the whole thing would fold down like that. And it seems like the turbines do turn as well as maybe whole sections of the left and right parts of the body uh, of the build. It is a little difficult to see right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store. Uh, you can see in the next picture, the cockpit fully removed. There's probably some kind of nice banished terminal in there. Again, I would have liked a bit more detail on the outside, particularly the landing sides. Uh, I don't know what you would do, like the folding out. They're not really wings, they're just more like the side uh, panels. 
Uh, I would have liked to see some more banished inscriptions on there. Um, something else. But the propulsions on the back do look really nice. Uh, the removable armor, I mean, the brute captain looks gorgeous. And he does have some nice detailing on his helmet, which I appreciate. And then we've got the translucent Esherim, which again, way more detailed than I've seen in any translucent or transparent figure before, right? Like, there's not many that have actual uh, different tones, different shades of their color on the figure. And this Esherim clearly does. So a lot more detail has gone into that. And it really does make sense that we have a translucent Esherim, particularly like we see him in so many Many different projections across Zeta Halo so uh, a lot of good thoughts got into this and we get two muzzle flares which is nice like two sets you can take these muzzle flares apart into two pieces so technically you have four muzzle flares I'm on the fence of saying like almost every single mega set should include a muzzle flare they must be so cheap to produce and they go a long way like particularly if mega wants to focus on building dioramas in the future so all in all banished phantom you have my respect you have my love I'm looking forward to owning you personally I really love how the uh translucent rods that hold the phantom up are used as these sort of fuel canisters on the top of the reaver or whatever it's meant to be. The build itself is great. A little boxy, but again, the Halo Infinite Banished Phantom is quite boxy. And the box art is quite boxy because it's a box. Wow. Uh, no, the box art I like. Uh, it's growing on me a lot. I love purples um, and... It works really well for me. Also, I wanted to note a couple of uh, little little key points here. First of all, people may have seen online uh, the Red Team Charge set. The pre-orders have been pulled from websites like Entertainment Earth. That's because Red Team Charge is going to be a Walmart exclusive now, which uh, I'd like to see Mega talk about officially. I'm not sure how people feel about that. I know Walmarts aren't in every single state or maybe Walmarts are really difficult to get to in some states. I don't know if it'll be sold online or if it'll ship internationally in general other countries will be able to get red team charge will they sign a amazon deal exclusively abroad i really want some more answers for that i don't mind exclusives it seems funny red team charge being a walmart exclusive you think it being a red team would be a target exclusive but i mean whatever and apparently it's meant to come out in august so i think it might be safe to say that all these sets will start dropping in august and september which is again funny because things like the falcon sweep arbiter's quest Gungus Gambit have only just been releasing now. So we're going to see how bloated this uh, this release window is. I, I don't know. Talking about releases as well, the Elephant Sand Trap pre-orders, I think they're on Bad Boy Toys, Big Bad Boy Toy Stores .com. <laughs> They've all been delayed until next year. So, uh, and I kind of, uh, that kind of makes sense to me. I always thought it was funny that the Banished Phantom and the Elephant were going to come out at the exact same time because they're both massive sets. The Elephant is more akin to a signature build at this point, but it would make sense to me if the Elephant can out next year. As always, the domain is your home for all Halo Mega Constructs news, so stick it with this channel and I'll update you as soon as I know more information. So yeah, shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Let me know in the comments down below which of these sets you're looking forward to the most and what you think of the packaging. And stay tuned to the next couple of days. I got some news that's kind of going to blow everybody's minds and I'm, I'm trying to keep it uh, quiet right now. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna see. It's really exciting. So uh, yeah, stay with the domain for all your Halo Mega Constructs news. I know I already said that, but it's, you know, say it twice. It's twice as effective. It doesn't stop being true. Signing off. See you next time.